law enforcement sources confirm the raids are connected to investigations over sex trafficking. Sean Love Combs, born Sean John Combs, November 4th, 1969. Where do you even begin with a story about Sean Combs, aka Puffy, aka P. Diddy, aka Brother Love? His house was raided by Homeland Security days ago behind an investigation into his involvement in sex trafficking, all while he was allegedly on a plane out the country. Video and photos have been released of a man assumed to be Love himself still in the United States but looking concerned about his and his family's well-being. Two of his children handcuffed and detained as Homeland conducted their search of his homes. Just a few months ago, things were pretty different for Puff as he celebrated Halloween 2023 as Batman of all people, conducting interviews, partying, and enjoying life as usual until early November he was hit with the first strong wave of accusations that turned the camera on him and began shine time on the hip-hop legend. Of course, that would be the lawsuit former girlfriend Cassie filed against him that alleged all sorts of wrongdoing that initially crashed Diddy's public image. Although the lawsuit was later settled, the damage was done and the ties to Diddy were all cut from business partners like Ciroc and Revolt TV, fellow industry associates and people I'm sure he called friends. Hip-hop has also played Puff at a distance amid the personal crisis with the feel in the urban community being it's about time the dark whispers about his lifestyle we've heard over the years be brought to the forefront and addressed. For those who don't know, Sean Combs, some say, is single-handedly responsible for building one of hip-hop's biggest record labels of all time, Bad Boy Records, who in its prime produced a plethora of artists that have gone on to have major success and build their own brands in music, fashion, and business. Artists who for the most part have been disgruntled for years with the treatment they received from Diddy when it comes to the state of business he conducts where the profit from their work together seem to heavily favor Combs in the long run. Since the 90s, artists have complained about their publishing and masters being withheld by Combs and Bad Boy Records. Those have been ignored for decades. As a matter of fact, all of Diddy's questionable activities over the years have seemed to be ignored in favor of his personal success until now. Although he's not been officially charged with any crimes, the court of public opinion is taking a where there's smoke there's fire approach to it as the masses prepare themselves for the inevitable fall of Sean Combs, even if he's never charged or does any jail time. As we all know, Sean Combs' favorite pastime is business. For these reasons, business may be closed for good for the hip-hop icon. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Let's get him. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Sean Combs is a rapper, record producer, songwriter, executive, entrepreneur, and fashion mogul born in Harlem, New York, but raised in Mount Vernon. His mother was a model and teacher, and father a former Air Forceman and known street guy with alleged ties to famous drug dealers who was shot and killed in his car when Puff was just two years old. It didn't hinder him from attending good schools, learning about business and finance at an early age, even studying for two years at Howard University majoring in business. He got his big break as an intern for Uptown Records and Andre Harrell discovering and developing multiple careers of artists like Jodeci, Mary J. Blige, Biggie Smalls, Lil' Kim, Mace, Craig Mac, 112, Usher, and many more throughout the 90s and early 2000s. He made his name off the work he did in the hip-hop community branching off into all business including fashion, television, alcohol, tech, and any opportunity to capitalize. Running parallel to his success was a dark cloud of suspicion that surrounded him since the murder of Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur, and now sex trafficking and other illegal sexual deviances that have made their way to the forefront of his image and life as of 2024, once almost sure to end his career. Stunt number one, the treatment of former artists and partners. 
for years long now, it's been reported and although unofficial in most cases, known within the hip hop world or anyone familiar with Diddy and Bad Boy Records, that his business dealings with his artists has always been in question for the unfair small print that's allowed him to pretty much own the creative rights to their music in trade for an opportunity. Back in the day, this was easy for him to accomplish because hip hop was still in its toddler stage where it was becoming one of the most popular genres where the artists didn't quite understand the music industry or the business and all just wanted to be a part of this new opportunity to get out the hood. So they signed anything in order to be down with Bad Boy Records, who had the biggest artists on its label in Biggie Smalls, Maze, Jodeci, 112, Mary J. Blige and more. As hip hop grew, and most importantly times changed to where social media was introduced and evolved, giving anyone the power to be heard, Diddy's name became synonymous to all sorts of poor treatment and wrongdoing to his former artists and much of the people of his past born the bad boy curse. Most his former artists were left either dead, broke, or in jail after their run with bad boy, in positions they couldn't feed themselves, all while Diddy rose to fame and amassed a reported billion dollar empire. Those artists have spoken out for years and even in some cases approached him in person looking to get back their publishing and masters from Puff so they too could enjoy the fruits of their labor. This harsh treatment led to people like Jaguar Wright exposing these practices and even alleges sexual exploitation and abuse by the hands and direction of P. Diddy, but no one ever listened. What they did do was keep record and now with life in crisis mode for P. Diddy, no one is coming to his defense publicly as the charges become more and more serious and the allegations of his dark Hollywood side is coming to light. This lack of support leaves Diddy out there as the sacrificial lamb for whoever he may have been involved with business-wise and personally over the years, all because the way he treated people in the past. Stunt number two, the Cassie allegations. As mentioned for years, Diddy has managed to dodge all allegations of mistreatment musically and personally by just about everyone from his past it seems, but when Cassie filed her lawsuit November 16, 2023 for rape, sex trafficking and physical abuse, it was the perfect time and atmosphere with social media and the Me Too movement being full-blown powers globally at this point for her story to be heard. And what a story it was. Among other things, Cassie has claimed Diddy would do things to her like force her to participate in sex acts with sex workers, trafficking her across cities to perform in these acts as he filmed and pleasured himself. She also accused him of physically, mentally and emotionally abusing her, some of which actually was caught on tape, recorded by Puff himself, and the sexual assault she alleges at her home in 2018. Within a day, the lawsuit was settled by Combs and Cassie has since backed off, but that opened the floodgates on Diddy and things haven't been the same since. By the day, women from his past have came forward and sued him with claims of their own, building the conversation about Diddy to the point here we are now with his homes being raided and his family in handcuffs for something he's alleged to have done. Without those Cassie allegations, Sean Combs may have skated on forever with the same dark cloud following him since the 90s for his believed involvement in the death of two hip-hop legends. The Cassie allegations may have been quieted by the payment of money to her and legal paperwork that enforces her silence, but they showed the world a darker side to Diddy and opened him up to even more accusations and lawsuits, especially seeing how fast he used money to respond to Cassie in settlement. Now everyone has a story and everyone wants their peace. Stunt number three, things have gotten out of control. For P. Diddy, that is. Even with the allegations from Cassie and everyone else, Diddy was still partying and for the most part still enjoying a pretty comfortable life. The night before the raid of his homes, he actually attended a Hollywood party and seemed life was still good. But now that Homeland Security has obtained search warrants to enter his home and everything is playing out in real time, 
and he's the main focus on the news, YouTube, and social media, it's gotten to the point I'm not sure anything can be done to save if not his freedom, but his public image and his ability to conduct business. In 2024 going forward, who would actually consider doing business with P. Diddy? A bigger question now is what will happen to the once celebrated hip-hop icon that even has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Will he confess and face possible life in jail? Will he fight the charges, lose and receive the same fate? Or will he cowardly run to another country like Russell Simmons and give up his legacy as he lives in exile? Either way, it's over for the life Diddy once knew. Just before all this, he attempted to give back publishing to former artists, seemingly knowing he'd need support from anywhere he could get it. But support won't be enough or smart. Diddy is going down, one way or another, as these are the end times of his walk of fame. All in all, what do you make of another black man of stature being taken down and legacy ruined, disgraced in the streets of social media and traditional media as well? Until charges and a conviction, it's hard to make out anything, but what we can do is assume this is the end for Sean Combs and his multiple empires, all fallen or coming down to bury him in allegations at least for the rest of his life. That or real jail time as we watch the fall live. If he did these things, then so be it. If not, for these reasons, his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music, and I'm out.